Alright guys, welcome to S1 E18 of my Let's Play series. And uh, today we're going to work on the potion room. Started this because we're going to need the wart for it later. But uh, let me show you the progress I've made. I have made a lot of progress, folks. I had a full day of just playing, no recording, so I was able to really nail some stuff out. And here's the, uh, the portal room. This is the first room I put the water back on over. So it's completely wrapped up. The only thing I might change is the doors. I might make those iron doors. I'm still thinking about it. But, uh, yeah, so you walk in, and uh, it's a big base, so you might need a, a beverage to get you through. A little speed potion, grab it. Chug. Hit the doors. They open up. Run through. This is all done. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. This looks boss. Now, here's the key. I see a lot of people from my server just running down to the end, and they can't get through. You gotta ride the cart. And if the cart's at the other end, you gotta hit the button. But uh, you get in there, take the ride, go down, door closes behind you, and this door opens up. And that's that, that's how you do it. This is still a mess. I'm thinking about just putting down green grass for now. It's gonna be a while before we get to this, because we have to, off this end is gonna be the farms, like cow, pig, and chicken. And off this end is gonna be wheat, pumpkins, melon, and uh, sugar cane as well and I think I read somewhere that nether wart's gonna be able to be farmed out in the real world or this world so I'll do that I built up this door pretty this up a little bit happy with the way this came out it looks really good storage room you guys seen now here's the uh, the crafting room run through open up and then you come through here Lights turn on, crafting table comes up. I just found out you can't actually push furnaces with pistons. I did not know that, which sucks because I had a lot of ideas for that. But this works for now. I like it. Uh, I have two chests in each actual, next to each set of furnaces. The left is your pole, and the right is your blazer. Right. But same on this side as well. Uh, this is the, uh, what was I going to say? The redstone for this is actually pretty simple I'm probably gonna destroy it by showing you guys but make sure there's not water there uh, redstone just runs into the piston and you got these repeaters here I have timers set so they they turn on in a certain order to make it fancy if you know how I roll um, pumpkins are here to light up the place when these lights are off so I don't get mob spawnage and basically this wire back there runs all the way around to the pressure plate so when you hit it all this turns on I had to make a T flip flop which is on the other side whoops poor Sev by the way guys Sev's putting out some good content if uh, you guys want some to see a different perspective on how this server is going and stuff like that and what he's up to which is some pretty cool stuff I definitely recommend you check it out but uh, this I'll actually link them in the uh, description if you want to take a gander this wire runs around hits a T flip flop and then uh, connects to the pressure plates. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, how do we get out? We don't. We're stuck here forever. Um, dirt. I have dirt. Shouldn't screw anything up. I will fix this now because <laughs> if I don't do it now, it never will get done. But uh, yeah, the potion room is gonna be fun. I want to make my own design, and I have some ideas, but I want to get something going because I do use a lot of potions. So we're just going to use CMB Minecraft Pocket uh, Potion Room for now. And I will make my own later. Because I definitely want to, I have, I think I got something cool planned. Alright, let's get to it. And then you go back, all that turns off, and the door opens up. Pretty, pretty simple. What do we got here? Oh, glitched. Ward. I think that's Melman's favorite. Not a fan personally, but we'll rock out to it. It's a little too dark for me. This is gonna be the potion dome. I built the dome already. It's a 21 in diameter dome. And uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna walk in, and it's gonna go down a quick flight of steps, and then it's gonna have the potion thing here. Cause the the way his potion lab is, you have to go up top to, re to replace everything. So it's gonna go down some steps. It's gonna be like right here, and then there's gonna be steps going off the side. To the back where I can refill it. I think that sounds pretty cool. That's some general idea. Then we'll we'll pretty it up a little bit. So let me uh get this dug out, get some supplies together, and then we'll uh, start going from there. So I will see you guys in a second. All right, guys, we are back. Dug it out. 
unfortunately, once again, uh, this is an odd number dome, and the this is the the flooring plan, and it's an even flooring plan for the device we're gonna build for the potions. So it's gonna, I'm gonna, I, I think I can make it so you guys don't realize it. Now you probably will realize it because I've told you, but if uh, I, I can, you know, adjust the, the hallway and I can do a bunch of visual effects, if you will, to make it seem like it's even. But this is what it's gonna lay out to you. And then we'll have steps going up the side here and the side over there that lead to the back of it. But uh, yeah. I'm not going to build this on camera. Uh, it's something i got to watch the tutorial while I'm building it. But I will link the tutorial. He, Like I said before, the other stuff I've built to his, he does a ton, ten times better job than me. So I will definitely do that for you. And I plan on going with a nether brick sandstone look for it. There's my dispensers. So, uh, yeah, I will build that. And I will be back once I am done. I'll see you guys then. And apparently somebody's a bastard. A creeper is. Okay. I'll be back. All right, guys, and there she is, all built. Not sure how I like this so far. Uh, I have an idea for this. I might like try to arch it out somehow. But let me show you how this works for those of you that don't know. It's pretty basic. It's pretty cool, actually. There's your water dispensers are up there. Uh, say you want to make, let's say, a uh, swiftness potion. You just click the button. Out comes everything you need. Oh, I still gotta put the water down. I'll make an infinite spring right here and right here as well. So you can just fill them, drop them in, put the wart in, put the sugar in, and then it uh it brews the potion. Pretty simple stuff. And then uh, say you wanna make like a, a, a splash healing potion, for example. Put these up there. Uh, we'll, we'll want splash and we want it to be a healing potion. So down comes your nether wort, your three bottles, your glistening melon, and your gunpowder. Pretty simple stuff, and you can do all your brewing right here, yada yada yada. When you're done, flip back up. And then if you just wanted like a normal healing potion without the splash, you just do that and it all comes down. There's your nether wort, there's your three bottles, and your glistening melon. I think it's awesome. I like the fact that you can just stand here and basically do everything. I will put the infinite springs in right here. And uh that's that. So now we are going to work on decorating. I just want to show you how this works. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some materials together. And we'll uh, try to figure out how I want this bad boy to look. Alright, time to uh, figure out this. I put this here. These pillars with uh, these. This is where the uh, infinite springs are going to be. Right here. Uh, we got to figure out what the floor is going to be before we replace the blocks underneath it. But uh, I think we're going to dig out these stairs. Just make them one. Like that. And then this one... Take this out as well. I think we're gonna stick with the uh, the sandstone and nether brick look. I like it. Problem is, this is gonna have to go as well. Really wish the uh, <laughs> the sandstone steps were out by now. Couple more weeks, thank God. God, I'm not gonna thank God for freaking sandstone steps. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, okay, we want regular. What we can do is we can do that, and we can do. Nah, we're not gonna have slabs. Way to be prepared, Joe. All right, uh, let me go get more sandstone slabs, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, here we go. And then this one's gonna be. I wish we'd make nether slabs, nether brick slabs. That'd be, that'd be actually pretty awesome. Nope, not stealing my blocks, bro. These guys are freaking pissing me off. I just had to go up there. All those dirt blocks you see up there, I had to prevent the water from falling down. Cause those ass hats. There we go with that. Slabs there. And then. 
Alright, what do I want to do here? I want to come out like this, I think. And then here I can put one row. I never bring enough material, I swear to god. I want to put another row there. So I can... Hold on, I need some sandstone here, I'll show you. Yeah, I've noticed too, like when the water comes over it, it gets this dark effect. Like you see in the other two tunnels that I've done already, or the dome in the tunnel. I think it looks pretty badass. And we do that, and then we can do this. Like that. This is probably going to be a couple day event, because I'm not going to get all this done today. Take those away. Yeah, I got to work today. Minecraft weekend's over. Alright, so, uh, let's see here. Come down, bum bum ba. Yeah, I like it. I don't, I like it a lot, actually. And then down here we can replace this. I think I'll replace it with another brick. Mix it up a little bit. Put torches here for now just to make, a, make ourselves protected. And then here. Do the this smooth sandstone. There we go. And then we'll do that over here. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Let me know what you guys think, because unfortunately we've hit our we've hit our mark. It is time to wrap up this episode today, but our next episode will definitely be back in here. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna try to think about these arches how I want them, and it's gonna be a staircase that needs to wrap up here as well to the back. I set my scaffolding up so we can get into the dispensers easier, and uh, we gotta figure out how we're gonna light this place too. Because I might just do the glowstone thing. We got to figure out walling. There's a lot we got to do. So next episode's going to be a lot of building and a lot of designing. So I will see you guys then.